Hey there everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome back to The Disconnected. Tonight we are going to be opening this giant package from Severin Films. I'm sure you guys have already read the title and are not idiots, so you'll know that this is The Dungeon of Andy Milligan. I've already cut the tape off this thing, but I've not opened it. Let's take a look inside. Whew. That is some wonderful packaging. Super helpful there. This is the box set on top. I love the packaging that makes it look like it's been weathered. There it is. All of the titles that are included in this set. There is the bottom of it. That's very nice. And the top is going to look great on the shelf. I actually rather like that they put their logo on the top like that. With that font, that is very nice. Oh, and the storage case is included, thanks. All right, looking deeper, I don't have any of these. Just kidding, I have about 94 of them. This is an InterVision sticker. And, wow. That is a very nice sticker. These are some of the original art, I believe, on these. Rats are coming, the werewolves are here. Oh, thank goodness they made one with that. I love that art. And another Severn sticker. Go nicely with my collection that I already have. Whoops. And first, I have been waiting for this thing, man. This is a great idea for a magnet, and I did not expect this. Look at that. It is a very thick top of the magnet here. That is very nice to look like a marquee. Lots of great detail in it. I am very pleased with what they did with this. Oh, and it's made in Canada. Happy to support. Look at that. Man, that is fantastic. It's a thick boy. All right, next is one of the Hall of Fame pins. Of Andy Milligan there, number 19. Some pixel elixir, love it. But the piece de resistance in here, holy god. This fucking thing is huge. Okay, let me get this giant box out of the way. Oh my, jeez. Okay, let me get that blade back. Whew, lots of tape. Sorry for all the crinkling sounds. Okay, hopefully I can get it out just with that end. Well, maybe not. Man, they really went above and beyond to protect this. I believe this set was limited to like 150 copies only. So I'm glad they protected it so well. Jeez. All right. This is the ghastly ones. The giant book. By Jimmy McDonough. Presented by Nicholas Winding Refn. Wow, there was a little uh, reflection of myself there. There is the back. So this is a slip case for a book. Something I never thought I'd say that I'm glad to have, but I'm certainly glad to have it. This book is massive. Done by Fab Press. There is the back of it. Try to get the reflection out of there for you. All right, let's open this up and take a look at what awaits us inside. Ooh. 
I don't know that I like that texture. That is an interesting choice. The uh, slip case, I know you can't feel it right now, obviously, but the slip case is almost like a uh, rubberized texture. Dear God. And this is the back. Wow. This is a massive book. Cruelty is remembered and appreciated. History doesn't remember the good deeds one does, only the bad. They are the history makers, those that do horrendous deeds. They are the remembered ones. This is probably not something I can share many pictures out of. Just knowing, yep, look at that. Knowing Milligan, I'm sure there is a lot. There's an example of two pages. Funny, everyone's a little queer, didn't your mother ever tell you? I, yeah, probably can't show a whole lot more in here, but there we go. That is the ghastly one, and the dungeon of Andy Milligan is all that we have left. So let's cut into this one. And I have watched an unboxing or two online already, and a lot of people are fairly unhappy with the packaging on this one. I'm not a big fan of the cardboard holders for discs. I get why they do it. It is cost effective. It is able to save some space. This is a book and we will, we will take a look at the book here in just a second. Let's get to the important stuff. This is the actual set of films, the Dungeon of Andy Milligan collection, an unbelievable orgy of terror. So now a lot of people, uh, this is the first time I've opening, I've opened this, you've seen that. I'm not going to pull this but once and yep, you see that? The glue popped on there. It is, uh, the collection here does not allow for a lot of give. And for somebody that appreciates art, you would want to be able to get into you know, the, the deep corners of this to take a look, to read everything, to see all your discs. I, I'm fine, you know, having to pull the discs out, but being extra ginger with the packaging to not mess it up seems kind of above and beyond what should be necessary. It does feel very nice, though, I gotta say, other than the binding there. Okay, let's take a look at this book. This is from Stephen Thrower, as you can see there. This is Venom in blood dripping color. Once again, probably not a ton I can show here. There's a good couple of pages. And see if I can find another one. There's another one. This is, this is a great collection that will certainly rival the Al Adamson collection. I cannot wait to dive into both of these books. This one is a, it's gonna take a while, but there you have it. This is the Dungeon of Andy Milligan with the ghastly one and the entire bundle that came with it. Thanks to Severn Films for sending that out. I am stoked to own it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you'd like some more, I'll be unboxing more soon, sharing that with you. I also have a couple more guides up. If you haven't seen it, please watch my guide on collecting Scream Factory. I am certainly considering doing one on Severn Films soon. So if you have any ideas of what video you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments below. If you like this, subscribe, give it a like, share with your friends. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. That is, again, the Dungeon of Andy Milligan from one collector to all of you. Have a good night.